Hey everybody, Julia here from Just One More Card and today I want to show you a super super fun project featuring a stamp by Stamping Bella and a stencil by My Favorite Things. Here are the supplies that I'm going to be using. This is the adorable unicorn from Stamping Bella. I absolutely love the stamp set and the sentiments. Um, I'll be using that stencil by My Favorite Things and these dies by Tonic Studios. I just um, like the square shape that I'm going to be using. This is the Trellis Square Base die set and it will be listed like all the supplies in the video description below. And I just really um, like this one. I just like the square shape and I'm going to emboss it. I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum uh, die cutting machine, but I'm using the embossing plate and this tan embossing mat. And what this does is it presses the die into the uh, watercolor paper. And because the watercolor paper is quite soft and thick, you have this really nice indentation. So you basically, uh, you're not die cutting, you're dry embossing onto the watercolor paper. You can see here I have this really nice um, frame and it didn't get it didn't go through. I used some post-it notes to um, mask off parts of the card base along the frame that I had just embossed and then I used distress inks to create my rainbow effect. If you don't have lots of colors of distress ink, remember they are basically watercolors and they are meant to be mixed. So if you mix different colors together, especially those which are next to each other normally in the, you know, in the color wheel, you can create a third color. So, you know, don't panic. If you don't have all the colors, you can really just mix most of them. Um, and I wish I had this kind of spray that holds your stencil down because then my work would have been more precise. But hey, you know, there's always room for improvement. I then spritz this carefully with a mixture of water and perfect pearls. And I say carefully because this is watercolor. It starts to run when it's wet. So I um, really needed to immediately go in and dry it with my heat gun to make sure that the colors wouldn't run entirely and uh, I would retain this nice effect. It's not crisp, I know that, but you know, eh, it's still okay. As for the coloring I've been, I did here, um, I used my gray markers and I actually start out with a mid-tone usually. So I think this is um, N3 um, and I'm using N5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So my mid-tone would be N3 and I go in with it and I just try to figure out where the shade shadows are going to go. And only after I've done that, I go in with my darkest color, which is in this case, the N5. And uh, I then deepen up the shadows in the areas that need the most shadow. Um, and you can see here that I'm especially like around the legs, I'm trying to leave a little bit of white space to indicate their roundedness. So this unicorn le looks like really happy and chubby and you know, just like something you want to hug because it's so adorable. It's also a great opportunity to practice coloring with white. And sometimes I use my colorless blender to just make sure everything blends together nicely. Now on the hair, or is it the mane on the unicorn? Um, I used colors which will be similar to the colors where the so if you look at the finished card, you can see that to the to the left you have the green colors, to the center you have the yellow colors, and to the right uh, you have the orange red colors, and that's what I try to reflect in the hair of the unicorn as well. And this is basic blending. This is just blending from dark to light um, to create this effect of you know um, kind of hair on this little cutie patootie. Oh, isn't he adorable? I just love him. He's just so adorable. I really want to just hug him. I wish I was a kid and I would have like, you know, stuffed animals that I could hug. Anyhow, now I'm stamping my sentiment with VersaFine, it's a sticky ink, onto vellum. And I'm using vellum because I decided I don't want to co uh, cover up my um, rainbow effect with, you know, paper, whereas could stamp the sentiment on. It was actually my first attempt. Uh, I wanted the rainbow colors to really shine, literally. And so I decided to use vellum so it wouldn't be as invasive or cover up as much. Um, I used uh, I used a powder tool, again, will be listed in the video description below and on my blog, to make sure that the black embossing powder would only stick to the, um, to the ink, you know, because black embossing powder is always tricky. I put some double-sided adhesive tape on each end of this strip and then I'm just wrapping it around the front of the card base. I don't mind that it's visible on the inside. It's a handmade card and uh, I feel it's totally okay if, you know, sometimes you can see how it was created. So that's fine. And then I used my most prized possession, the, the Jelly Roll Stardust pen, you know, which I... Uh, 
I could not live without that pen um, to color in a little bit of the of the unicorn horn here, so to speak. And here you can see the finished card. You can see how much it sparkles with the perfect pearl shimmer that I added on top of it. And here's the entire card. I hope you got inspired to whip out your colors and create some rainbows yourself or just something that is colorful and will make you happy. And if you like this video, I would love it if you would leave me a thumbs up or a nice comment. And I always like to hear from you. See you again soon. Bye bye.